NBA Game Time Basketball Setup Video. Located in the cash box are the necessary items needed to assemble your NBA Game Time Basketball Game. Using the provided 45 key, unlock the cash box. In the cash box, you will find the assembly and install manual laying on top of the cash box. Take the cash box out. Inside, you will find four long bolts for mounting the podium, a bag of hardware, and a bag of decals. Begin by having two people, one on each side, and at the back end of the game, lift the cabinet up. A third person can then slip the leg into the cabinet. A hat nut assembly will stop the leg at the correct spot. Secure the leg with another hat nut assembly by inserting the hat nut in one end and the hat nut and bolt in the other. Make sure you do not cross thread the bolt to the hat nut. You may have to lift the cabinet up slightly to allow the bolt to align to the hat nut. Tighten the hat nut assembly using two 3 16 Allen wrenches. Repeat this for the other side. At the front of the cabinet and with a person on each side, lift the cabinet up. Have a third person slip the front legs into the cabinet. Just like the back legs, the hat assembly will stop the legs at the correct spot. Be careful not to pinch your fingers again. Repeat the process to secure the legs to the cabinet as you did for the back legs. When installing the podium, be careful not to pinch the wires between the podium and cabinet legs. The long quarter inch by 20 bolts are used to secure the podium to the cabinet legs. There are four holes in the front legs that align to the podium. Insert one quarter inch by 20 bolt and washer from the back side of the leg. Position the podium to the front of the game, aligning the bolt and cabinet. With four quarter inch by 20 Allen bolts, secure the podium to the cabinet legs using a 532nd Allen wrench. Then insert the three harnesses through the back of the cabinet. Plug the AC cord into the back of the podium. Note the power switch symbols. Leave the switch on zero until you finish the install. Once all wiring has been connected, remember to turn the switch to one. There are three harnesses that need to be plugged in to finish the setup. The first harness to plug in is for the ball game. This plugs into the relay board. The plug is keyed and can only be inserted one way. It will lock when connected. The next harness is for the backboard display board. This harness and the mating harness are keyed so it can only plug together one way. It will click when plugged in all the way. The last harness is for the AC power. This harness is keyed to plug in one way, and when fully inserted, it will click to lock together. The game is now assembled and ready to be programmed. Remember to switch the back power switch to one. Another power switch is located in the podium. Marquee Instructions The marquee is shipped with two mounting poles, one network cable, one AC power cord, and one bag of hardware. Make sure all parts are present before starting the install. The marquee can be installed two different ways. If the marquee is to be installed on two or an even number of games, then the marquee is installed between two games. If the marquee is to be installed on an odd amount of games, then the pole should be mounted to the middle game only. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to install the marquee on even amount of games. Position one support pole on the back side of the right game.
the pole goes to the left of the display housing. Use a spacer between the pole and the cabinet. They're very important later on. Use two shoulder bolts and washers found in the hardware bag to secure the pole to the cabinet. There are only two holes at the bottom of the pole. Hand start each bolt, making sure not to cross thread them. Use a 7 16th socket to secure the bolts. Repeat the last step on the left game, but on the other side of the display housing. With one person on each side, lift the marquee up and onto the support poles. Slide the marquee down until the mounting holes are aligned. Insert one bolt, washer, and nylon nut to the side of the support pole. Use a 532nd Allen wrench to hold the bolt and secure the nylon nut with a 7 16th socket wrench. Now insert a second bolt, washer, and nylon nut to the side of the support pole. Use a 532nd Allen wrench to hold the bolt and secure the nylon nut with a 7 16th socket wrench. Repeat for the other side. There is an RJ45 connector that one end of the linking cable needs to be plugged into. Install one end of the linking cable to the RJ45 connector located on the marquee main board. Install the AC cord to the AC input of the marquee. Make sure the power switch is on one and not on zero. Connect the other end of the linking cable to the in jack on the game on the right. Uncoil and cut the wire tie on the out linking cable. Plug the link cable into the next game's in jack. It's behind the pole. Uncoil and cut the wire tie on the out linking cable and connect it to the term jack of the same game. The marquee is now linked. Enjoy your new NBA Game Time basketball game.